What's up everybody, Laszlo here, and welcome to the server. Alright. Are we in bed? I hope we're in bed, or are we just like hanging out in really dark rooms for no apparent reason, but... Alright, well, there's a closet over there. There's the utter blackness of hell does forth. First object I would like to interact with is the light switch. Can I go in here? Can I interact with that? Ah, nope, yep, don't do that. That's a bad idea. All right, but at least I know that that's an option. Can I put on pants or shoes? I have a feeling I'm going to be running from the dead. I would like to at least have on my bunny slippers. Convenient. Gotta love the classic horror flashlight. All right, what would we do without it? We would be lost in the utter bitter darkness of hell. Let's get some lights going. That's a that's an interesting way to do a toilet. Be like, you can't see me. I go hide in the corner over here while I take a pooey. I got a very laggy hand. Apparently, I don't know how to. I don't know how to move my hand with my hand. Ah! So that's the thing. It's a nice, creepy looking hallway. What is that noise? Somebody. Somebody's shitting in the old rocking chair again. Is that Grandpa? We already messed with Grandpa. We don't need to do that again. That went badly. Get a lay of the land. Gotta check out all the all the different rooms. Turn on as many lights as possible. That's always step one. Ooh, what's this? There's a key. I like keys. Can I pick it up? I can interact with everything else. Can I? Why am I fully dressed? I got my shoes on. Was I just like sleeping in bed and a button up and sneakers? Okay. All right, I went from being able to interact with everything to absolutely nothing. This must, must not be my office. I mustn't mess in here. This is Bob's place. Ugh. 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 What is that? Is that just trash, or did somebody just, like, shit all over the room? At least they put a blanket over it. They're like, oh, oh, God, I better cover it up. I'll at least put a blanket on top of it so nobody will know. And then walk away. Close the door. Okay. All right, let's get going. What am I doing? I'm just wandering in circles aimlessly. It's a light switch. But it must be on. Hello, random candle. I went to bed with a candle, a lit candle, not even in a jar. That is like such a fire hazard. I am a horrible person. I could have, I, I'm probably dead because I probably burnt the entire house down and died in my sleep from carbon monoxide poisoning. So... Oh, it's raining. I didn't even finish my dinner. I just, I didn't put my dishes away. I j oh my goodness, what, what is wrong with me? Did I leave, did I leave that going? I hear crackling. Did I not even turn off the stove? Light a match. Leave, oh, I left the sink going. <sighs> left the fire in the fireplace. I'm just trying to burn down the whole house. That's basically it. I'm just, I'm just an arsonist. Do I hear, a, I hear like a cell phone buzzing. Or is that the microwave? Is my pizza done? Hello? Ooh, question mark. Press P to open the pause menu. Shh, I'm reading. Ah, oh, fine, I'll answer you first, you needy cell phone. Did you call back later? I'm busy. All right, P. Oh, that sounds scary. That's a scary cell phone. I should probably read that first, but we're gonna do this instead. March 8th, 2003. I haven't written in this journal in a while. I thought I'd write you something down. Right now, Lilith is six years old, while Marcus, I think, is four. The other day, she was painting a picture, and it looked fairly abstract at first, just a blend of seemingly random shades and hues. After making dinner, I came back to find her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable! I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could up being a very special girl. I asked her where she learned to paint that way, but she responded in a confusing manner, as if she was all, as if all she was doing was casually playing with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents, so we're just going to ship her off anyways and let the nanny deal with it. <coughs> Wait, sorry, anyways. Financially, we're doing well, so no real troubles. No family issues either. Besides, you know, his drinking problem. Which kind of sounds like the definition of an issue, but... Okay. I'll finish this entry after I cook dinner, and Joseph gets done beating me after his drunken rant, and we'll go back to our happy home. Well, there's that. Random. Shit! Why would you put that on the read thing screen? Ah! 
I've got an idea. Let's make a video game where they have to pause it to read things and put the quit game button right on the same menu. <laughs> oh god, there's this 20 minute wake up and rolling around in bed scene again. Uh. Alright, here we are. We're good. We're right back where we are. Don't worry. I turned all the lights on, even in Bob's pilly room. So, we we're, we're, didn't miss anything. We're back on track. Pick up our creepy cell phone. Use the cell phone by pressing the space. Enter the five-digit password. One, master bedroom. Two, Bob's bedroom. Three, living room. Look for the channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now, she's upstairs waiting for you. What? Well, why would I want to go up to the bedrooms? She's waiting for me. The front doors on the first floor. I can just walk away. Be good to go. Hello? Are you, uh... Are you waiting for me up there? You don't have to wait. You can, you can go on without me. It's okay. Yeah. I'm very glad I turned all the lights on. Turn on and make her ears bleed. Channel! <laughs> can I close this? I really want to... Okay. Alright, we're good. Uh, eight channel eight. We good? I think we're good. We did it very quickly. We are cool. Can I put some music on? Distract myself. A little smooth jazz. You still up here? Still waiting? Not waiting? Okay, you're good. Move along. Yeah, they kind of. Yeah, that's a statue. Okay. Uh, 29! Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. She's probably in there. Put your makeup on, dear. We're running late. What was the last one? Living room. We're right here! Ah, oh, that works! Can I turn the flashlight off? Okay. Eight twenty nine ninety seven. Hey, what's up? All right, help. Let's go with help. Help. I need help. Or not? I took a picture of my closet. Why? Help is help. Just a crisp high five. I like it. I don't need help. I had a crystal high five. Work. Help, please. Attempt number 89264. Okay. Hey, it's your manager, Mark. Are you available to work next weekend? No, because I'm going to be dead. Emma can't come in, so it'll only be you and Katie. No, because I'm going to be dead. Just Katie. It's going to be a pretty busy weekend, and she could use all the extra hands she could get. She could probably get an extra hand, because I assume at some point mine are going to get severed off. And I'll just mail them to her. If you're receiving this, you've been chosen to participate in a nationwide survey. We believe you're qualified to be a representative of a specific demographic group we are studying. What, boring, nerdy white dudes? To continue, please proceed to the survey app found on your mobile device. It's like the name of the game. Welcome to the survey. You've been chosen to represent... Please be honest while answering all questions. Your cooperation and honesty is appreciated. Press continue to begin. I only got 18%. I should probably call 911, not playing games, but you know. Are you currently situated in your home? Yes. Are you currently employed? Yeah. According to Katie, or Mark, or whoever. Do you use your mobile device often? Apparently. Did you forget your password for your mobile device? Sure. Ish. Was finding the password for your phone easy or hard? Never leave really It's annoying. It is annoying. Yeah, we're talking about a survey. That's Freudian slip right there. Is anyone with you in your house currently? I think so. I have a, I have a feeling. Is anyone supposed to be with you currently? No. No, they're not. Are you a college student? I don't think so. Do you enjoy being home alone? I do when it's not ghosts. Do you ever feel creepy when you're home alone? Right now it does. 
Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as if you're being watched, but in reality, you are not? Yeah, sure. Individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently, especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or statues. Are any of those objects inside your house? There's a bunch of creepy shit in here. How many televisions are currently in your home? Two plus. Thank you for your participation. Please take a short break. We'll continue with the survey shortly. Fantastic. So looking forward to it. I don't really know what the next part of the survey is. Survey says. Absolutely jack shit. Hello? I take it back. Goodbye. Is that downstairs? Who's breaking shit in my house? Was that statue there before? Who could turn my water on? You pay the bills in this house? I don't think so. Quit leave my water running. Alright, you left a note for me, creepy little angel statue thing. That is so kind. Alright. Don't close the game. Local Prodigy by Richard Driver. August 29th, 2009. Lilith Walker began painting when she was six years old. Though only being 12, this child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. The child belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, a drunk, a construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at a law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, <laughs> name choices there, Lilith loved to paint and expressed her talent early. Also, she stated that she practices anywhere from 5 to 10 hours a day just to be perfect at her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity as demand for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a variety of instruments such as violin, piano, and cello. On top of painting, she also enjoys long walks on the beach. Why was the TV on? That makes her ears bleed. Did you read the note? Bad statue! Don't turn my TV on! It makes the ears go goop. Why is my light off? I had the lights on. For a reason. I pay the bills. I can make the decisions when my lights are on in my house. Okay. 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 The lights off upstairs. Oh, what the lights to be off upstairs? That's the scary place. That's where she's hanging out. Oh, at least I turned that light on, too. Oh, I turned them all on. We're good. Oh my god, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Is there a purpose? Or is it supposed to be creepy as shit? I can assume the latter. Alright. Well, what if I want to continue? Okay. For the next portion of the survey, we will need you to fulfill a request. We will need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working. Okay, specifically the sink and the light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working properly. I feel like you're setting me up for something creepy. Oh, you let me know. Oh, awesome. Why am I playing this game? Why would I still be around this house at this point? I don't know, but apparently I do. My sink works. What else did they want me to check? Light switch. Oh, fantastic. Hey, I think that was my own shadow. We're gonna go with that. We're good! Fuck you! Fuck off! Go away! You need help! I think the Smiths are home next door. Go bother them! September 2nd, 2009. I asked mom to get me a diary after my first painting sold. Just thought it would be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mom and Dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. It seems like all they want to do is make money from it. Please shut up! I'm reading! Do you mind? My goodness! Go bother the Johnsons! At least! The reporter came in the other day. His name was Rick Driver, and he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently, we're going to be in an article with the local news. Mom said it would help with my publicity. My publicity. I hardly even like painting, but whatever makes him happy, I guess. 
I actually like playing the violin and the piano way more than painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy doing that much. Just hope they include Marcus in the article. I know how much he loves writing. Seems like mom and dad barely even pour attention to the poor bastard. Is it my fault? Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll trip, fall down the stairs, and break my arm so I can't paint anymore. At least for a while. Poor Lilith. Is that you, Lily? Are you crying? It's okay. Don't be sad. Great, you then. Finish our quote. Why did that happen? Fuck. What are you looking at? No. Background didn't change. Nothing's different. This is the same exact playthrough. I didn't take a break and pick up where I left off later. What are you talking about? You're crazy. So we're here in the survey, uh, continuing uh, after the horrible crash that just happened. And uh, we're right back at the past where we left off. We're creeping and crying and miserable stuff. So let's keep going because now it's fantastic. Hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, that, that's, that's a hand, that's, that's a person standing there, uh, crying. I, that's not what I wanted to jump right back into. Um, hi, light, please come back, okay, alright, hi, crying lady person, how are you doing? You doing okay over there? You're, you, uh, uh, you're kinda... Uh, clip it through, uh, what, can I just, can I just close this and go to sleep? Alright, nope, we're gonna do this! This is the thing we're gonna do! Cause... Okay... Did you, uh... Did you change your mind? Did you, uh... You think of the happy thoughts and everything got better, so you went... You went away, cause... That's awesome! I'm so glad to hear it, you're happy now, you're not gonna jump out and scare me because... You're in a happy place. That's a lamp. Uh, boo. Okay. All right, we're good. Yep. You, you be happy. You be you, and I'll be me. We'll be good. Let's continue the survey. Are they working properly? Yes, my sink and my light switches are working fantastically. Thank you. Did you notice anything strange? Yeah, kinda. She heard you hide. Well, of course I hid. Did the ghouly ghosty thing. Uh, so do I not hide? She won't hear me if I just stand here. Thank you for your input. The next set of questions involves your personal preferences concerning music. Wonderful. Do you enjoy listening to music? Yeah. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Yeah. Do you enjoy listening to rap? Eh, 90s rap, but I assume they're talking modern day. Uh, let's move on. Do you enjoy listening to classical music? I do, actually. I enjoy me some Bach and some Beethoven and some others. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Well, I have four sisters. So that's kind of a vague question. I'll say... She's told me in a letter. Can I put my phone away? Let me come back to that. Let me put you on hold. Uh, Lilith Walker. I'm, I'm, so I'm guessing Lilith is my sister. I'm just going to go with that. Because uh, that's how it seems to be. Uh, bu -bu -bu, bu -bu -bu. I know she likes... She doesn't like... Or she, She's an art prodigy. But she likes violin and piano. But does it really say? I mean, I guess that's more classical, right? I don't have time to read through this shit. I'm, I'm just not that patient. I'm going to go, yeah. Top of being a talented painter, she's also a talented violin player. Do you remember her playing any songs on her violin? Sure! Were you ever jealous of how gifted she was? How everyone always paid attention to her? Yeah! So much! We have a song that you might enjoy listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and give it a listen. It'll be Casey Kasem with today's top 100 scariest shit songs. Now back to the countdown. Well, apparently I'm brother to the talented dead girl. And she's not happy with me. 
Cause I must have murdered her. Cause I was so jealous of all her fantastic talent. Oh, Lilith. It reminds me of you in the days of your... This song sounds really familiar, actually. I think I've heard this in... That's me! That's my shadow! Why do I have such a scary shadow? Do I have to listen to the whole song, or is she gonna get, uh... Upset if I walk away? I don't like that I'm just standing here. I'm just waiting for something to happen. I don't think that song's gonna end. So I think I don't really have any choice but to walk away and make her kind of angry. Lily! Are you home? Apparently not. Should I just turn on all the TVs and just really piss her off? I mean, make sure your ears bleed. Maybe she'll go away, right? She'll be like, I will be here. This place makes my ears bleed. And I'll be like, all right, bye. Have fun over at the Johnsons. Okay. No? Okay. Why did I start off? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh! What the fuck noise did I just make? What just happened? What did you do to me? What the hell was that? Not okay. Oh, oh read more, you creepy notes, you scary bitch. Oh, she just wanted a hug, right? That was just a hug. Uh. All right, Marcus says no. I'm guessing that's me. September 3rd, 2009. So my sister gave me a journal even though my mom said no. She said that after her first painting sold, mom would get her a few. She gave me one of them, so I'm kind of happy about that. Nobody really knows that I'm really into writing besides my sister. This reporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, wiping the floors clean, and sweeping up all the broken beer glasses from dad, I assume, from that happy home. And lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter, because they let me off of my chains and out of the basement. I saw him pull into, into the drive. I put him into the drive away? Alright, that's not me, that's just written stupid. I thought I just couldn't read. I saw him pull into the drive away, pen and notepad in hand. It's a drive way, not a drive away. You dr drive away is an action. Drive away is a thing. Moving on. My dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door, just before closing shut, struck my little nose and started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic, as if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there, then drank it. I never got to meet that reporter, but I developed a taste for blood. Even though I really wanted to, Marcus. So I had to eat my whole family? Started slobbering on my own nose. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, that's pretty good. We make that like a thing. Hello? Oh, it's you again. Just what I wanted to see. Hello, creepy statue. Is that behind you, or is, is that, that, that that picture in the closet change? All right, just make sure there's nobody in there waiting for me. You don't see anybody, do you? Ooh, there's something right there. What's that? I don't know. Moving on. Oh, screamy, creepy, dying person. Are you in here? Peekaboo. Oh, it looks like a, is it a jacket? Let's see. Why did I take this picture? Obviously. Okay, something seems different. Why is this different? It's not. Why is this, why does it seem? This is a really shitty picture. I need to get a new phone. All right, well, that was fun. Can we continue our survey? Okay. Did you enjoy the song? No. No, I did not. Do you remember what happened to her? Not really. But I think I killed her. Do you remember what happened to your family? 
I want to say yes, but there's room for error, right? The screaming, can you hear it? Yeah, pretty much. Have you seen her? Yeah, pretty much. Are you lying? No, not really. She's watching you. Do you feel her eyes on you? The statue over there? Yeah. Turn around. No. <laughs> Do you hear the footsteps? No, I actually don't. Do I? No. Error 82297. But I didn't hear the footsteps! I really did it! And now I really don't want to turn around, so we're just. Uh, 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 fuck you, Lily! Okay. We're good. I broke my phone. It doesn't like me anymore. Because apparently I have really bad hearing. Did I make her angry? Oh. Oh, I might have made her angry by not turning around. I'm sorry, okay? I'm scared. Hello? Oh, sorry. See, I tried to help you. It's not my fault. She is broken. January 1st, 2012. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but mom and dad are driving this whole painting thing like crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Both of my parents- That's like me with this whole thing. I feel ya! I'm not very good at it, but goddamn, it's fun! Woohoo! Go to us! High five! Whoosh! Crisply. Okay. Both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it because apparently it makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than to just keep painting. Just keep painting, just keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse, or maybe I'll try telling no. I wish they would pay more attention to Marcus too. He puts so much effort into everything and he does really well in school. It was Christmas the other week and we had some other family over, so had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy and so alone. And for some reason he just kept gnawing on his own arm. It was, it was kind of weird, but we'll move on past that. It's a happy home. Uh, besides me anyways. Oh, nobody even got him a Christmas present besides me anyways. It's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. This makes it that much more sad that I murdered her. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he always had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scary sometimes, Lilith. Unless maybe I'm not the brother. Maybe I'm the alcoholic -y murdering father. We get a hint yet? Time until next hint. 120 seconds. We ever gave me the first one. How am I already on the next one when I'm, I haven't even gotten to the first one? And why the fuck is there a wild clothes laundry machine in my kitchen? Do I like do the dishes and then wash my underwear and then put them in the microwave to dry? Okay. Oh, wait. Statue's gone. Ooh. Pick up the key yet? Nope. Can I? Whoa, whoa, eh, 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 uh, why is it so hard? Okay. Wow, that's some reflective paper. Holy smokes. That shit's got to be expensive. Oh, great. Does it unlock the bangy, creepy basement door? Or can I just unlock that one? Nope, not that one. Of course, it's the one smeared and covered with blood. Why wouldn't it be? That's the door that I've been waiting to open. Oh, fantastic. That was a tiny little room. What the fuck happened in here? Can I pick up the pitch? It looks like I could pick up the pitchfork. I could really go for some pitchforkage right now. Go hoe me a ghost. With my rake. It's not a hoe. January 1st, 2012. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but mom and dad are driving this whole painting thing like crazy. Whoa, when did the first letter start? Oh, so we're like three, four years in already? Damn! It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet that quota, on top of going to school. I tried to tell Dad to slow things down, but he just wouldn't listen. He was such a reasonable drunk before. Today, I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling him, I tried telling my him, 
that I didn't have the right color of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he called Marcus down. He grunted. <clears throat> you don't have the right color of red. He could smell the alcohol on his breath. He took Marcus and started hitting him until his blood started to drip from his nose. Eventually, his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat his ass and kick him until he was a bloody mess, which apparently happened in this closet. He took a can of booze, poured it all over Marcus, and walked away muttering something. Here's your goddamn red paint with that shit. Is that what he was muttering? Mom just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit, and I helped him to his room. I didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading this book about cars. Lilith. That is fucked up. Remember what she said. Remember, it's in the, it's in the, it's there. It's written. We're doing well with no real troubles or family issues either. It's a happy home. Why are you questioning this? It went up! I never got the first hint! Quit lying about the hints! Liars! Liars! I still can't, I can't continue the survey. Alright, I guess I'll never know what happened. I answered wrongly and poorly. Oh, fantastic. Her ears are bleeding. My face is bleeding. Oh. Oh, she's behind me. Oh, go away. Hi, Lily. Uh, maybe if I look. Oh. Wait, wasn't that here? What fuck is that? Where is that? Oh, that's upstairs. Isn't it? Well, there's. Uh, lovely. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Lovely. Hi, you again. Well, no, I gotta go this way, not direct me towards anything terrifying. I really need to change that light bulb. I could just pull out a ladder. You know, just, just tighten one of the bulbs might fix my problem. Cause I mean, it's, it's an option. I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe that's why she's so upset. Hi. How are you? <laughs> are you just upset because the lighting's bad? I know. That fucks with me too. Oh, the light comes on. You're supposed to go away. Not, not, not still be there. Don't you know how horror games work? You go away. Ah, ah, no. Go away. Go away. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Did I, was I just impaled by a hanger? I can't take it. All right, I'm procrastinating. God. Damn it. Why are you so creepy? Can I play on the computer? Nope. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Why? Sorry, just need to grab a new change of pants. And I filled them recently for some reason. Oh, okay. You go in there. That's cool. You got change. We're, it's a night out on the town. You want to look your best. So I understand that. Okay, well, thanks for leaving me a note. Does that say you don't want to go? You changed your mind? Alright. God damn it. Um. Look, there's nothing behind me. We're good. So when I turn around, everything's gonna be fine, right? Yeah, high five. We're back to that again. Okay. Survey? Nope. Survey says I'm fucked. Alrighty, let's read this and then hate life. Oh, death of two cities. Ah, two dead after house fire. October 1st, 2016, two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted in a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and a sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school and also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. I told you at the very beginning that was a fire hazard. That is like such a fire hazard. It was a lit candle. I was sleeping and he just left it sitting there. 
What more can I do? Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause. You already said that. It's redundant. Who wrote this article? Call them in. Editor's office. They need to be fired. But aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. It sounds like circumstances were kind of fucked, but apparently nobody wants to acknowledge that shit. All right. Hey, how you doing? Okay. I thought I heard the door close. Didn't you? Is it not the closet door? All right. Yep, we're good. We're good. Was it the bedroom door? All right. Uh, I heard something close. I. What do you want from me? Oh, don't run at me again. That was so fucking creepy. <laughs> Go away. Oh, God, I told you not to do that. You don't listen. What are you doing? Like eating me? What the hell just happened? Nine, two, six, I just four, fucking died and woke up and lost. Eight, nine, this is not in French. Six, four, Take out the hut. Take out the hut. They're all dead. Oh, see, it was all a dream. Just my alarm's going off. No, it's eight two nine nine seven. You got eight, it all wrong. Nine, two, six, there was something in the email about this, wasn't there? Eight two nine six four. Oh, lovely. There's more stuff. Attempt number eight nine two six four. Okay. Uh, well, we got more. Mom, how are you two doing? I know it must be hard for you with college work and taking care of Lilith. I'm at a hotel right now, and I'm supposed to meet my clients tomorrow. I should be back within a week. Stay strong. Love, mom. Noted. He watched her, writhing in pain as her condition set in, knowing nothing could be done to help her. Among all her family, she loved him the most. Yet. Turn around! I've already played that game, not doing that shit again. What am I supposed to try it on? I, I don't have, like... Do I have a, a phone pad? No? Alright. What am I supposed to do that on? I I get it. I got it like the first 50 times you said it. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Where am I supposed to do that? It sounds like something I could do on a cell phone. But apparently my cell phone doesn't have a keypad, obviously. I get another hint. What is the point of this screen? Why? Oh, do I have to just sit here and watch it until it counts down to zero? Blah. Is that the code to get into the fridge? Can I get a sandwich? Try 89264. Well, there's nine. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Is there one in here too? Six. Oh, lovely. It spells a message. Eight. Go. Oh, go. Where am I going? Nine. D I. Goaty. Two is upstairs, right? Yeah, I think two's upstairs. G O D. Eight, nine, two. Go dist. Go D I S D. Go D I S D. E A. Go D I What? And four. Where, where the fuck was four at? D. D A D. Dead. D E A D. Dead. Go. 
Go is dead. Go. G O D I S E A. Something's dead. Go. Ghost. Ghost is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm goodness. I'm not that smart. Why are you trying to make me be smart? Do I have a pen? Ah. I'm sure this is simple. Shut up. I know. G O D I S E A D. God is dead. God is dead. God is dead. I was like, what the fuck is Godus? God is dead. Find the picture. Hang out. Oh, now you tell me. Thank you so much for your infinite wisdom. All right, God is dead. Got the gist of it. Now, anything else you want to add to the party? Or is that that it? Oh, hey! It would open a door. Retrieve the note inside. That door that I walked past like three times. It wasn't open before. That I was clearly not paying any attention to. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, we got birds and painting and oh, a page of blood. I told you, there's your red. Use what you have, artists. The screaming, the crying, can you hear it too? For eternity. I have lived, and for one more, I shall live on. Trapped inside the memories with the devil himself. Awesome. Nine, two, six, four. Hi. Can I help you? Lights in this house really suck in case you haven't noticed. May 16th, 2015. I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I tried to get out of bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update, my parents took me to the hospital, just in case it was severe or life-threatening. But the staff seemed to be clueless as to what I actually have. They said they will need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. Ugh. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream because in a way, it felt like it lasted. Forever. It's because it is lasting forever. I'm trapped in hell. You're trying to murder me. So she's not really trying to murder me. She's just my big friendly sister. She really did just want to give me a hug. Oh, Lily. I love you too. I want a hug. It really was you. I'm so sorry I murdered you. No? No hug? Okay, maybe later. Diagnosis. May 18th, 2015. To the Walker family. We had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition. We have concluded that it's fibro... Fibro... Fibrodyplasia ossificans progressia. We're just making up words. <laughs> it is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified. Basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body. So she's like fucking Wolverine. <sighs> Probably not. Uh, there are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including her tendons, ligaments, and even the muscle will become ossified. Most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain. But other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40 if she is lucky. Please let us know what direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience, Dr. Gamon. Oh, Lily, that's so sad. That's so sad. Your life kind of suck. Well, both of our lives kind of suck. We just kind of had mutual shitty lives. Could we just... just Accept that together and not keep, you know, fucking with each other with creepy shit. So, did you die from the disease or did you die from me, like, stuffing you in a closet and lighting the house on fire? Or maybe it was an, an accident. I'm getting, like, a can. I, 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 I don't know at this point. I'm just winging it.
Can I take the survey yet? Survey says I'm still fucked. Oh, part two. He had a taunting grin on his face, as if seeing her suffer filled his heart with delight. For the first time in a long time, he felt joy. Marcus's dick! I mean, I know shit kind of sucked for him, but his sister was kind of cool, man. I liked your sister. Felt kind of sorry for her. You guys just, you know, spoke every once in a while. Probably could have uh, avoided this whole shitty circumstance. What is that? What is that? Was that there? That was there. That's just a can. Okay. Hello, can. She's just crying and leaving notes everywhere. May 17th, 2015. My parents took Lilith to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. She said it felt completely stiff, as if all the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, Mel Gibson style, lethal weapon! Ah! <coughs> Anywho. I made a sling with some old rags. I found it in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple months. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this little project with some of my friends. You mind? I'm writing here. Jeez, she's just... Uh... We're trying to create our own braking system for a car. Something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task. I'm insane. And maybe cancel the braking system remotely? That would be an interesting challenge. As long as I don't have to stay home. Right? Marcus. Lily! I want my hug! I still love you! Now you're running away! I'm really trying! Did you leave me another little, little, little note? No? Okay. No? Yep. No? Maybe? Perhaps? In the closet? No? Lily! I'm sorry, I was such a shit brother. Can't really expect too much with such shit dad to lead by example. What was that? That's a faucet. Why you keep turning off my lights? Oh. I'm fairly confident that was not me just now. Like, I'm fairly confident. Um, now I'm highly confident, as I don't have any way to open the door. That's a, that's a bummer. Come on, let me out or I'll turn the TV on. You've been warned. Let me out. Well, hey, not funny. All right, watch this. This is what we do. Do that. According to a recent poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial Is there actually something on the TV? No. What the Let fuck are you talking about? story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and bore a daughter. And yes, yes, I'm hiding in here. I, I have no shame. Artistic mediums, I can listen. There's nothing to see. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. That's me! Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Noted. Noted. So far, he sounds like he's on Soon track. After discovering we could even follow talent, along. Her parents See? Look! Her greatly to continue oh! To perfect her it's skills. like he's reading in, in sync. Eventually, a high enough demand for Is this like for the people who don't have the patience to, to actually read the notes? Stable. This is like the Cliff Notes version? Art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs. As I read I was a good boy we could just sum this up a little bit piece, depending on the buyer due to this high demand Joseph and Mary began to live I don't like being out here their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in Break order it. to satisfy Break their it. own greed it started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work oh Slowly, cigarettes is that in there and more intense I don't remember the cigarettes. Landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. Where was child the services was at this point? And no charges were filed. How do you cover it up? This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. 
Yeah, just take a deep breath. After Get a punch. Exhale. Life. Lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former Still a happy had home. In touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. Guy was happy. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. What's wrong with he happiness? It sounds like things were working out pretty well for me. Not for everybody else. I have to go back out there now. All right, well, we did that. That was a thing. Turn that back off. Woo! No! No! Uh-uh! Uh-uh! No! 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 Go away! Occupido! No! Two-letter word, it's simple! I'll turn off the TV, quit- okay, no I won't, because apparently I just don't do that. You still want that hug? Are we still friends? It won't let me open the door. So we're just gonna hang out in here. I tried! What do you want me to do? I don't know what they want me to do, I can't do anything! Do I need to close the door? Get rid of my... I get rid of my high spot! She starts knocking harder! Are you done? There we go. Alright. I think we're done. Still can't turn that off, so it sucks to be me. Leave me a note? Okay. Okay. May 25th, 2015, my parents gave me the news. So I have this condition called fri Fibrodiplasia Ossificans Ossificans That thing. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, and muscles gradually turn into bone. Yep, got that. They said that eventually I'll lose mobility in my arms, legs, necks, everywhere until I need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel it in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. It hurts to walk around, and I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way, or else it'll speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15! This is a lot to take in, knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile. Isn't it a bit ironic? Isn't it ironic? Doo -doo -doo. Don't you think? A little too ironic! Is I really do think. I wish that I could stop painting, or that I wouldn't have to anymore. And this was the answer I received. The best they could do is prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there's a good chance that I won't be able to walk. And I'll be in a wheelchair, or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'm a pretty big deal. <clears throat> I meant burden. The other day, I overheard my parents arguing. My mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Lilith. This game's really dep depressing, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'm really intrigued. I really want to know where it goes. Okay, why? Just, just fix the light, man. My God. Well, if isn't the ghost supposed to be chasing me? I feel like I'm chasing this damn ghost all over the place. Leave me another skittle, my love, to follow. Oh, oh, we get to hide it around the corner. All right, where were we? I overheard them talking about what Lilith's condition was. Apparently, she had some sort of bone disorder. Basically, her body keeps becoming more and more immobilized until she's basically paralyzed. The process can take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. They seem very worried about it. As far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. I wonder what will happen. Mom and Dad were screaming at each other the other day. 
I've never seen them argue like that. It was quite entertaining. She didn't really give a shit that Dad was a complete drunk alaha beating the shit out of her children, but, you know. This is the breaking point. It was quite entertaining seeing them bicker and yell. I had a wide grin across my face as I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mom has been able to find a job with her old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck. This is quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition, and it seems incurable. My parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, unstable. I've never been more excited in my life. Marcus. And you thought your family was kinda fucked up. Just saying. Okay. Thanks for the note. August 2nd, 2015. My mom showed him the divorce paperwork and he was livid. I've never seen my dad this furious. His bloodshot eyes trembling in fear because he knew he was powerless against her decision. He kept taking her he kept taking beer bottles and smashing them against the kitchen table after he heard the news. She said she was tired of having him just drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I left a little surprise for him in the car. He'll find out while he's out driving. <laughs> Think it has something to do with brakes? Well, for now, I guess I'll just be Mom, Lilith, and I. She asked me to get a part-time job since we'll need the money to help with Lilith's medical bills. I don't mind working, even though I'm still in high school. I'll be pretty busy, I guess. I'll just have to deal with it. It'll be hard, though. I went to the doctor the other day and he examined my shoulder. Turns out I've had a torn raid crotter cruff for about 10 years. Ugh, for a while now. But I've never been able to get it checked because of Dad. I haven't been able to rotate my arm past 90 degrees without feeling this tearing sensation on the back of my shoulder. Thanks, Dad! Guess in the end, everybody gets what they deserve. Marcus. Even you? Yeah. Oh! Can I finally have my hug? Lily! Oh! It's so warm and snuggles! No? Okay. I tried. I didn't run away that time. Tried to break the streak. Fitting music. Suicide note. October 3rd, 2016. It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my... I, I feel like I need... Like, he sounds like so old and bitter. Like I need a fedora, a trench coat, and a cigarette. been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my job since the divorce, just to cover everything. <sighs> Lilith? Well, she was bedridden. Relied on Marcus for just about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. Went on a business trip for about a week. And I didn't get the news till I came home. The house had caught fire. I was told that Lilith died a horrific death, burning alive as the flames consumed her. Because that's the way they write all those deaths in the newspaper. I said the fire started in her room, most likely by a candle that was tipped over. The neighbors, they said they heard, was a scanting scream, like an animal that knows that death is approaching. Everything is gone. My kids, my house. Did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed, a horrible person. I let my son be abused for years just to force my daughter to paint and make myself money. Do you mind? I'm getting in character over here. I guess Joseph got what was coming to him and now it's my turn. And this is a female reading so this just makes this that much more awkward. Just wish I could watch over them. Sincerely, Mary Walker. She invented her own whiskey. Mary Walker White instead of Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> and it's sad. The timing was that was just so perfect. Oh my god. I know I should have just walked away and just let it go, but I just couldn't let that go. That was beautiful. Hello, Angel. Are you the one that's crying? Are you my mom? Ghost is my sister and you're my mom watching over us. Probably trying to drink his sorrows away. Oh, we got another TV or is that the radio this time? Crashing his car into a tree. Yeah, can't imagine how that happened. Noted that there might have been tampering involved with the braking system of the vehicle. 
Uh, survey says. Individuals yes. Suffered greatly while dying. Oh, good. I, know a certain I love the news reports in this town. Go. Most. Don't <laughs> worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph bringing the local news to you. What? What? Was that my dad? Stuck in the radio? He's just as fucked as I am. Oh, it's like a whole family reunion. Oh, we got dad in the radio and mom in a statue. Mary being all ghouly. And I'm just like, what's up with my flashlight? Oh, shucky darns. Oh, here we go again. Okay. Yep. Nope. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Change your mind on that one. Okay. March 3rd, 2016. It's been almost a year since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse recently. I'm losing control of hands, so it's getting quite difficult to write. One day, I wake up and I'm unable to move a certain... I'm reading! Why'd you turn off the light? Oh, well, we'll focus on this for a moment. Look like I got my flashlight. It's a bit horrifying having all your muscles, ligaments, and tendons slowly turn into bone, I would imagine. Marcus has been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden on him. Top of school, his part-time job, and take care of me, he seems so busy. Mom's been working overtime almost every weekend just to help with my medical bills. I mean, we have insurance, and we still have some money left over from my paintings, but it's still getting pretty tough to pay for everything. I can't walk anymore, so I'm pretty much confined to my bed most of the time. My favorite part of the day is when my brother comes home to check on me. Hopefully he'll never read this. This is embarrassing, but I feel like I'm holding him back. After Dad died, he just seemed so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserved, but is this my punishment too? Apparently so. Here's a piano. Well, there's the hallway. I don't remember there being a piano out there, though. Nope. All right. Well, we're playing this game. We're playing can't do anything game again. Nope. No pianos in there. I get it. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Oh. Is there somebody there? It looks like a piano, sort of. Would they pin a piano up against the door? Don't mind me, it's Marcus. <laughs> bong, 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 bong. Thank you, Lily. All right. Yeah. Oh, did she move the piano? No? Okay. What was that closing? Well, that's new. Uh, I'm gonna stand on this side while you do that, and uh, can I get, just do my thing. Yep, you do what you gotta do. You do you. I'll do me. We're good. <sighs> All right. Is the piano still there? Or? Nope. Okay. Why is that door closed now? That door wasn't closed. Well, now it is. Marcus's note. March 5th, 2016. I can barely keep up with everything. I was accepted into the university that I really wanted to attend, but I decided not to go through with it. If I did leave, no one would be here to take care of my sister. I'm being honest, I wish I could just leave. I want to move on and just forget about her, mom, dad, and all of them. Fuck them. I've decided to attend this community college first, and then transfer to university afterwards, to save money. Also, I won't be in a ton of debt after I graduate. That'd be nice. Last night, I saw something a bit disturbing. As I made my way to my room, Lilith's door was slightly ajar. You can also hear this high-pitched scraping sound. It was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned on the light, and there was blood covering her hand. She was ripping, running the tips of her fingers across the wall up to the point where her fingernails were now loosely attached to her finger. She seemed so out of touch with reality. I looked at her other hand, but it was bent in an awkward position, her wrists bending toward her body while her fingers looked stiff. This, this thing in my house! don't think this is my sister. My sister was a painter, a talented girl with immense potential. Her eyes gradually turned towards me. I felt them almost reaching out to me, pleading for comfort. I gave her none. 
Marcus. All right, there, Lily. Okay, we're gonna play this game again. Apparently, this is the game we play now. Oh, yes. You all right? Okay. If this is supposed to be like our family home, why is there only like one bed in the house? I mean, I get it. I was probably stuffed in that one. And this is Lil's, but where's this bed that he so wants to talk about? September 26, 2016. Mom is leaving for about a week. She's going on a business trip, so she's leaving me in charge to take care of the house and my sister. I check on her briefly about once or twice a day just to make sure she's still alive. I might forget to check throughout the week, though. It's such a chore taking care of her. Why can't she just die already? Damn, yeah, son. Am I wrong in saying that? Because of her talent, her God-given gift to paint, it destroyed our family. Without it, everything would have been normal. You're fucking living in a fantasy land there, buddy. In the end, everybody gets what they deserve, and she's getting her end right now. Dad received his, and Mom is breaking her back just to meet ends meet, make ends meet. I wonder what my end will have in store. Who knows, maybe I'll get the worst ending of them all. I realize that my hatred for her is wrong and unjustified. It wasn't her fault she was born with that skill. I feel guilty that I enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain. It's an immature reaction for so long. I wish for someone to feel my suffering. I would get beatings almost every week with my mom and sister just watching. It was almost entertaining thinking of what I could tell people at school when they asked about the cuts and the bruises. Now it's a little different, I guess. I'm in control and she's the helpless one. I don't really believe in a heaven or a hell. If one exists, I'd probably end up in the latter. Marcus. Oh, lovely. It's a lovely shade of red. Just like her painting. So I'm guessing we're on the 8,000th so and so time through hell. It's just uh, our ever repeating purgatory that we've uh, entered into here. Okay. Sounds good. September 28th, 2016. This will be the last letter I write. I can feel my right hand becoming immobile and stiff. Mom left a couple days ago and it's been up to Marcus to take care of me. Even though his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent over the last few months, I understand. I'm just a burden to him and my mom. He hasn't checked on me ever since she's left. I've tried everything, knocking and banging my hand against the wall, screaming. I mean, it's all I really can do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up, hearing him walk up the stairs. Just maybe he'll walk through the door and check on me. Did I deserve this? For not standing up to my parents and letting all this happen? All of this, it's my fault. I'm so sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. Lilith. Not up to a good start there, Lily. Feeling moderately burdened at this moment. Kind of deserve it, though. Just a touch. Oh, are you there, Dad? Oh, okay. Cheery, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Still giving great life lessons, I hear. Let me know if I can help you with that one, Pops. Push the piano up against the door uh, the door again. Yeah, in the hallway. No, nope, no pianos. Okay. Do re mi fa so. I get it, Pops. Shut your pie hole, man. Nobody cares. You're kind of a dick. Oh, here we go again. Hug time. Hey! <laughs> Stabbing me? Is that like my eternal punishment? I get mad shanked by my crazy sister for all eternity? Oh, well, back in bed again. That, uh. Things still don't look good. Whew, there's a lot to read in this game. September 30th, 2016. Life is pretty quiet, to be honest, right now. Between school and work, it's a bit stressful, but it's not as bad as before. Mom is set to come home in a few days. It was nice having the house to myself for about a week. I'll admit, sometimes it gets eerily quiet, and sometimes I can hear these soft knocks coming from the walls. Other times I'll hear crying and sobbing, sometimes According even screaming. It usually doesn't last too long, but still, it's a bit so, unusual. The young woman was dead at the scene. After performing an I guess we're not reading now. It was confirmed Fucking A, Dad! You're a dick! I was reading! Officials also found something strange. Oh, really? 
her body was starving. What officials think occurred was during her final moments, as an act of desperation, she lit a candle inside her room and started to fire herself. Okay. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Emotions ranging from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and required help for the simplest activities. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life, everyone had paid their attention to her. I really don't have to Perhaps be reading these Marcus letters, do I? Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, though he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently resides. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been oh, unconscious in a coma? ever since the fire. I thought they said I died. No one knows when. This is the death of two siblings. Death of two siblings. It says it right, right there. Or he might be suffering. The it says the death. His mother, Lies. Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in Could a even wait for me to wake up? incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. No idea how that happened. We'll just uh, move on from that. Situation. No one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions. Whether he regrets neglecting his sister, I bet he does now. Psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Especially after reading all these letters. Others kind of a dick. Years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him and did everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. <laughs> Cheeriness. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory. Stuck in a place between life and death. That sucks. An eternity of suffering That's a bummer for me. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker bringing your local news. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, Pops. Where was I? Uh, da, 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 knocking, you're really quiet. I have a strange feeling da, 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 that I have a strange feeling that I've forgotten something. Like I've forgotten to finish some sort of chore. Oh well, it probably is important anyway. Like, uh, uh, what? What? Is it over? Why? Can, uh, okay, uh, we'll read really quick. Oh well, it probably is important anyways. I had a strange dream the other day. I woke up in this house, but I was alone. But I felt that something was watching me. I couldn't leave, and every once in a while, something would attack me, and I'd wake up again. And I kept uh, repeating until I woke up in the real world, and then everything was kind of fucked up. And I kept going over and over again, and I can't even finish my letter. And, oh my god, I can't get it in! because oh, everybody died, and it's sad. Ah, oh, the end. Uh. Did you get all that? Why would it start give me a letter and start talking at me? Oh, I didn't miss anything. I don't know. It was stared at the letter into eternity. So apparently I didn't die. I was just left in a coma after my sister burnt down the house because she was starving to death. And then this happened. Anyways, all right. That was actually, it was really intriguing. It was, it was interesting gameplay wise. It was a lot of reading. And you get that with a lot of these walking horror games. Let's see if I can get past the, the screechy squealiness. Okay. So when you get to some of these walking horror games sometimes, it gets so heavy on the reading side, it takes a little bit away from the experience. And this was kind of one of those ones where you just kept reading. You were just going from letter to letter to letter. And after I got past the point, you know, when it's kind of the same scare where she, you walk at her and she runs at you every time, it kind of lost that punch because it didn't really change. You just kind of follow her around, get a letter, she runs at you. But the story itself was very intriguing. Fucking depressing as hell. As hell. Horribly depressing. 
But intriguing enough, I wanted to learn more and I wanted to see what happened. I kind of had an idea, I think, pretty early what was going on. Um, but that was that was fantastic. That was good. That was a good experience. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you did, I would appreciate it if you give the video a like, a share, and if so, you know, consider subscribing. Maybe. But until next time, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Adios.